Herringbone treble crochet or herringbone double crochet in the US stitches are a really neat stitch to learn. I often use this instead of treble crochet, double crochet in the US if I'm working in rows. They have a left leaning slant to them, which means that when you work the next row, it appears right leaning on the right side of the fabric. So you get this kind of woven fabric look like herringbone and I really like it. It also creates quite an opaque open stitch to your fabric, but it's got a lot of drape to it. I think more drapes than a standard treble crochet, which is why I often default to this, and you'll find it in a lot of my patterns. But let's get cracking, I'll show you how to make it. So it starts with the yarn around hook, and you place the hook from the front to the back of your work through that stitch. It has to go under the front loop and the back loop. Yarn around hook and pull up a loop. So far everything that you would do with the treble crochet, double crochet in the US, but here's how it differs. You have three loops on your hook and you're going to pull that last hoop made through the second middle loop, leaving you with two loops on your hook. Then you yarn around hook and pull through one and then yarn around hook and pull through the two remaining stitches to finish. And you can see how much that stitch is leaning to the left. That is your herringbone treble. It's really quite simple and it's just different. It's a take on a standard stitch. Let's go again, yarn around hook and hook through and pull up a loop. Yarn around hook, three loops on your hook. Pull the last loop through the second or middle, leaving you with two loops on your hook. Yarn around hook, pull through one yarn around hook and pull through the two remaining loops. It's that simple. One extra step on from a standard treble and a resulting beautiful fabric. <laughs> 